It's a Diecast Masters model, and as the outer shipping carton says, it's model number 71045. And haven't you always wanted one of those? We open up the outer shipping carton, and then we can pull out what's inside. And it's another model in Diecast Masters Transport series. There's a picture of the model on the side of the box. And if we put our reading glasses on, we can see it's an International Lone Star Sleeper with a skeletal trailer and 40 foot dry goods container. The sleeve on the box is nice and colourful, and on the back there is a few details about the real tractor. And some of the other available models are also shown. Inside the outer sleeve is another box, and it contains a pull out drawer. And now we get the first sight of what is inside. As usual for a Diecast Masters model, there's a little brochure included. And this one is the 2019 version, and there's already a lot of models in the catalogue. Let's move on and get to the model, and the first thing we can do is to take off the plastic former. And inside it you can see there are a few parts that we'll need to get out. Finally we can get on and get the model out, and there are three parts to it. The Lone Star tractor, a container, and also the trailer. Before we start, just a reminder that you can see a lot more about models on the Cranes Etc website, and the link to it is in the video description below. Also, if you want to know where you can buy scale models, then you can click on links on the website, including those in the shopping mail. And listed here are dealers that sell models in countries across the world. A nice touch is that the model includes three different options for the exhaust pipes. So you can go for cranked over, the angled cut, or the sawn off cut. And for this review, we'll take the straight sawn off cut. These pipes just slot into the top of the muffler, but they're not a tight fit, so don't be driving the model upside down. To assemble the model, we firstly attach the trailer to the tractor, and the kingpin just drops into the hole in the fifth wheel, there's no clipping involved. After that, the giant hand crane can bring in the container, but it's a light lift because it's all made of plastic, and it's a tight fit on the locators on the trailer. We start underneath the Lone Star, and quite a lot of the modelling is in plastic, but it looks good because we can see the engine sump and gearbox and the drive shaft running to the rear axles. Other modelling includes the chromed tanks, and you can also see an exhaust pipe. A nice detail is the soft mud flaps at the back, and the tyres have a decent tread pattern. The Lone Star looks particularly good at the front with its distinctive grille, and there's a tiny badge on top. Fitting nicely into the curved shape are the lights, and there's a big chrome bumper, but there's no number plates because this is a generic model. The chromed wheels look good, as does the chrome work along the side of the hood. Moving to a side-on view, and there's a lot more chrome. And that includes the mirrors, which are plastic. And also looking good is the big exhaust box. Another point to note is that there is no glass in the door windows. But it is good that the windows in the sleeper section are clear, and you can see right through. There's some nice detail within the casting at the back of the cab, and that includes the fixing brackets for the fairings, but there are no coiled lines. At the rear end there's more shiny chrome work and graphics on the mud flaps. The skeletal trailer is almost all metal, and a nice aspect is that the kingpin can be located in different positions. The main structure of the trailer is all metal, and there's decent detailing of the axles. At the front, connection points for coiled lines are indicated by graphics. And throughout the length of the trailer there are also nice red and white graphics. The chrome wheels are bright and look good, and the lights at the rear of the trailer are all marked. The shipping container is all plastic, but it is well detailed. And the applied lettering is very sharp, and follows the corrugations of the container very well. 
At the back there is high detail including graphics and chromed door locking bars and some of the tiny graphics are excellent in this scale. Starting underneath the Lone Star and the rear axle spin freely and there is steering on the front axle with a moderate range of movement. This is not a particularly heavy model but on the Cranes etc super highway it rolls reasonably well in a straight line. And if you set the steering you can drive in a curve but the front wheels do easily foul on the wheel arches. There is some more functionality on the Lone Star and that includes a nicely tilting hood. It's pleasantly stiff so it holds any pose and you can see there's a detailed engine made up of different coloured components. The reason there's no glass in the door windows is so you can stick your finger in and open the doors up and they open smoothly to a reasonable angle. The provision of opening doors does give you some different posing opportunities and in general it's better to have the flexibility of opening doors rather than none at all. The functionality of the trailer is very simple, the rear axle spin and the landing legs can be used by folding them down. They are not height adjustable, but they are made to the correct height so that they support the trailer properly when it's not fixed to the tractor. Another nice touch on the model is that the container has opening doors. And here the angle is excellent, the doors fold right back just like on a real container. This is a very good looking model of the International Lone Star with a sleeper cab. In fact the whole model is attractive with its trailer and China shipping container. As a model Diecast Masters has combined some very nice detailing with some effective functionality. Overall this model is rated as very good. <laughs>